cutting the tree down is beautiful. Why would you cut a tree down that we don't need to? What do you, just tell me why you think it needs to be cut down. I saved a couple loofahs on the vine. This one's actually dried out and I don't think it molded. So I'll open up that with you guys a little bit later. And then there's this one that still hasn't dried out yet, but it looks like it's getting some mold on the top. Uh, the other ones I left totally like disintegrated because it's been so wet and they're frost and rain and everything. The weather is just not been kind to them as you could see this one doesn't look that great Okay, I have a little story time for you guys. I have had a mattress nightmare lately. We needed to get a mattress a couple months ago, and so we got one, ended up really not liking it, and so we ended up donating that to a family that really needed one. Um, fast forward, we went to Big Lots and bought like a $600 mattress because we're on a low buy, and in the store, it felt really comfortable. <clears throat> Excuse me, but once we got it in the house and it was delivered, it was like hard as a rock. And so I bought this foam topper because I thought it would help, but it's also just not comfortable. And I have a bad back and a herniated disc. And so I really need a good mattress. Like that's really important for me and my health and to sleep. And so I kind of wish I would have just splurged on a good mattress because now we've spent all this money and we're going to end up having to get a mattress, you know, a, a good mattress now anyway. So lesson learned. everybody I hope that you guys are having a great day wherever you are I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys and kind of catch you up on life and just everything that's going on over here I almost like to call this like my happy homestead because I don't know I just I feel like I've gotten into like the homesteading vibes but I got a comment recently from someone that was like are you changing your channel into like a homesteading type mom and it was kind of funny because I never think of like changing my channel but I think as a person personally like I change you know throughout the years I think we all do going from like when I first started on YouTube I was posting you know a lot about my crazy past and just crazy story times and but as I've gotten older and become a mother um, my whole life has changed so much I used to really be into like makeup now I'm into you know 
gardening and sewing, you know, um, my life has just changed a lot. And so I feel like my channel kind of reflects my growth as a person and as a mom. And so I just kind of share whatever I'm into, whatever I'm doing or whatever I love or I'm inspired by, I want to share with you guys. So that's kind of like how I go, you know, about filming my videos, um, if that makes sense. So hopefully that answers that question. So speaking of gardening and sewing, uh, I was out in the garden this week and I was cleaning up from this past season and just um, getting the garden ready for the new season and planning my new garden. I'm so excited. I'm definitely gonna be sharing that with you guys. And then I'm also doing a lot of sewing projects, which I've been really excited about. Taking care of the kids, just doing my best to live my best healthiest happiest life with everything that's been going on lately and if you've been following my channel for a little bit um i recently was diagnosed with hashimoto's disease and also possibly schmidt syndrome we're still waiting on some testing and stuff to come back but i haven't felt my best and so i have been doing a lot of things at home to try to make myself as healthy as i possibly could be because I want to be the best version of myself for my kids and that's the most important thing in the world to me is my babies and I just want to make sure I'm healthy for them. When I go to the doctors and they do like blood tests or whatever and they tell you like what you're low on or whatever like there's so many different vitamins to take and I hate taking vitamins like with a passion. I really don't like taking them and there's so many to take that I just don't take any because I get overwhelmed. Um, and recently I was so lucky and so grateful because AG1 reached out with, for a sponsorship opportunity for me. And I was so excited because I've actually um, heard of them before. They're super popular. There were a lot of other people making videos about them and I had watched a specific video and I'll link her down below. She's super smart and she was not sponsored by them. Um, she just, you know, tried them out and did a really great, phenomenal review of this product. And I actually had watched her a while ago before they reached out to me. And so I really wanted to get this. And then they reached out after I wanted to already buy it and asked me. And I was like, oh, it was like perfect timing. So um, I'll link, like I said, I'll link that video down below because they give an amazing review or, or she gives an amazing review um, that's, you know, not sponsored. And because I don't want you guys to think just because I'm sponsored, it like, you know, waves your opinion of me or, or my thoughts on this. But I actually love this. The reason I love this is not just because it has all of your vitamins. You're not taking like a bunch of different vitamins and a bunch of different pills to get everything you need. It's all in just one eight ounce serving with just one scoop of their green powders. And it not just has vitamins, it has minerals, it has dairy-free probiotics, it has antioxidants and adaptogens. One of the adaptogens is ashwagandha, and that's really good if you have anxiety or stress. I tried green, like greens powders before, and they taste horrible. <laughs> like so bad um and this one is probably the best one i've tried this one i can actually get down you just gulp it down really fast but i've noticed that this has helped so much with my energy one of the reasons is probably because i don't take vitamins and so if you're somebody that doesn't really take vitamins or have like the best diet you will notice a huge difference if you drink this but it's just a great way to get your all your vitamins your minerals in but i just wanted to let you guys know that i really love this i've been using it I think you should too. And I will link everything down below if any of you guys are interested in getting this. This is a little bit pricier than some of the other greens powders that you can get on Amazon, but you get what you pay for. I think that it's, your health is priceless. Like you can't really, I'm here to tell you, like, trust me, I neglected my health for years and years and years. And now I've been diagnosed with you know, two different autoimmune diseases and I feel horrible and I don't want you guys to be in that position. Trust me, take care of your health before it gets bad. Highly would recommend something like this. Definitely worth it. And it like comes in this cute little stainless steel canister. Oh, oh my God. I didn't screw my cap on. Oh my gosh. Okay. That sucks. I just wasted powder. Precious powder wasted. Also, fun fact, they're giving a free gift for um, those of you guys that sign up and they give you a year supply of vitamin D3 and K2. The K2 helps to um, help you helps you to absorb the vitamin D, so that's why they put it in together, very smart. Um, and this will last you a whole year, probably more. You just put a drop in your 
um, greens powder each day and uh, yeah you'll trust me you'll feel a lot better yeah so thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring this video I really do appreciate it and you are helping me out with my health so thank you um, on another note I just wanted to kind of be honest with you guys like this has been really hard on me um, since I was diagnosed I I've just been really overwhelmed with kind of everything that I need to do to get healthy. And so I'm just trying to take it day by day. And, um, you know, it's not easy. I think especially like when you have kids and you're diagnosed and you're, you're like, your health is not well. Like you, you don't just think about yourself. Like you think about your kids too. And so that I think is the hardest part for me is just like not having the energy, like not being able to go play with your kids or, you know, like I play with her, but it's, it's sometimes it's really hard for me too. And so it's just been really hard on me, but I am doing everything I can to stay positive. I'm trying to make the best out of a bad situation and I'm just, you know, living each day like as if it were my last. I feel like all of us should live like this. We just never know. That's why I just want to make the best out of each day and I want to be happy. I want to choose to be happy. I got freaking greens powder all over me, so I'm going to go get cleaned up. Also, this is my shirt from my shop, A Little Happy Place or sweatshirt I should say, got a bunch of merch. So if you're looking for some cozy loungewear or just like cozy shirts or sweaters, I'll leave my shop down below. Mom, you want to come in, Mom? Yeah. I soaked some chickpeas overnight <laughs> overnight because I wanted to make some hummus, so I think I might do that now. Are you gonna go high? Okay. Yes, honey, come here. Hey, you wanna help me get the stuff from outside? Go out, help me get the spoon. I can't have this up on the counter anymore. Mom, I'm making rice peas, mommy. So I'm cooking some chickpeas behind me, um, but I am getting ready to eat some of my leftovers from last night, and I wanted to show you probably like what in the world is that. So we grew an like abundant amount of spaghetti squash in the garden and so oh hi uh, come here. Uh, hi buddy Are you playing with your blocks um so <laughs> we still have so many and we gave a lot away too to like neighbors and family but it's spaghetti squash or like the noodles and then travis made this like amazing jalapeno cashew um sauce recipe but he did one with almonds this time oh no and so i put some of that and then some tomato sauce and mixed it together and then we did um like tofurkey sausage 
it's like the vegans like sausage and it is so so good and it's such a great way to get in uh, like vegetables through the noodles and then also you want a bite and also um, protein because the almonds or the cashews however you do it uh, is all protein and then we added a tofurkey sausage on top of that you wouldn't need to do the tofurkey sausage because you could just do the sauce and that's your protein but it's just so delicious um i think travis did the recipe on patreon the the cat the jalapeno ca cashew sauce it's not even that spicy like it just gives them the storm it's just so good for more even our baby likes it <laughs> Pretty good. He just wants to eat everything we're eating right now. Also this scrunchie, I made it. It's like a DIY scrunchie video I did. But anyway, I just wanted to share what I'm eating for dinner because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do more recipe stuff, but I've been posting a lot of my recipes on Instagram Reels because it's just so fast and easy. And today I posted how I make my homemade juice on Instagram and it's so easy and it's like a 15 second video so if you're not following me on Instagram it's just my name at Shannon Rose and I'm the one with actually I'm gonna have some of this I'm the one with the blue check mark um so that's how you know like which one's mine no he's singing in the background uh, it's so good this juice is so good everybody should try it um if you don't have Instagram, I'll just tell you what it is. You want some more? He's like, come on, mom, don't hold out. This kid eats so much. I cannot believe how much. If you have a boy and a girl, let me know if your boy eats a lot more. <laughs> Snow, your singing is beautiful, honey. Let me know if your boy eats like a ton more because he just never stops eating and Snow never ate this much. That's so good. He likes the um, the spaghetti squash uh, tomato cashew or almond recipe. He thing. has some on his eye. What? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Thanks, Dad, for letting us know. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Other than I'm posting all the recipes on Instagram reels. You okay? Hey, I'll give you some more. Don't put it in your eye, bud. Oh, but my juice, it's so easy. It's just um, water and then I squeeze lemon and then put frozen berries in and mix it up and it's delicious. All right, you getting tired? You're rubbing your eyes? Are you a sleepy baby? All right, so we got the family hanging out in the living room. Dad's playing with baby Storm. Snow is hiding in the couch. Are you hiding in the couch? Where did Snow go? <gasps> she was here. Where did she go? Where did Hello, Snow go? Snow. Oh, there she is. No, 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 right there. You're gonna hide there? That's a pretty good hiding spot. Is it cozy too? Play hide and see. Okay. I'm gonna count to ten. You gotta go hide. One, two. You can't hide right there. I already know you're there. You gotta pick a new hiding spot, silly. <laughs> yeah, you gotta find another place to hide. Oh, I'm gonna go get her. <laughs> Let me see your surprised face. <gasps> Let me see your sad face. <laughs> Let me see your happy face. Yay! <laughs> Let me see your scared face. <gasps> <laughs> uh oh. Oh. He's hiding. Where? He's gonna get you! 
Baby Storm is gonna get you. I have started a couple little seeds and I'll tell you really quickly what I started. I started basil. Um, this one is cilantro, bell peppers. This is seeds from my mandarin tree. I'm just seeing if they'll germinate or not. And then we have parsley and what is this one? Oh, jalapenos. And then I have my all my seeds that I store in these like little photo, like photo album thingies. And then here are my little seed packets. So getting ready for the spring season. So I'm just like planning my garden and I'm very excited about it. And I love this little part of the kitchen, but I don't ever really use my diffuser anymore. You say dad, 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 and mum, 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 and grrr. Grrr. I say dad, 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 no. Yes. No. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, I'll give you some more. You just ate a bunch, buddy. I can't believe you're so hungry.